India is marking 50 glorious years since liberating Bangladesh from East Pakistan. Our war heroes tell us the sacrifices made by the Indian Army to save Bangladeshis from Pakistani genocide, which saw at least one million of the population being wiped out. War hero Ian Cardozo tells us how his Gorkha battalion was the first to undertake a heli-bone operation deep behind enemy lines in Skalhet and also forced Pakistani troops to surrender despite being short-staffed. My battalion did a great job. It fought for nine days and nine nights with limited ammunition, hardly any food, no water and we fought an enemy 20 times our size and forced them to surrender. I was doing the staff college at Wellington in the Nilgiri Hills where this unfortunate accident has just happened and uh, the course was prematurely shut down because of the war and we were told to join our units and I rushed to be with my unit and I was lucky to be in time to catch the last wave of helicopters taking the battalion to Silet. My battalion, the 4th Battalion, the 5th Gurkha Rifles, is the first battalion of the Indian Army to carry out a heliborne operation behind enemy lines. Yeah. When we landed in Silet, heliborne operation, we were, our strength was 384. When the surrender took place, we were 352. And their strength was, when they surrendered, three brigadiers, two full colonels, 173 officers, 290 JCOs, and nearly 8,000 troops surrendered to us. The ratio was one Gurkha to 20 Pakistanis. So it was a great, I mean, it was a great victory of my battalion, which contributed to the overall victory of the war. Affectionately called Kartus Sahib, as his colleagues found it difficult to pronounce his name, he showed exemplary courage. After the fall of Dhaka, he stepped onto a landmine and had to amputate his own leg with a kukri in absence of medicine available. I did what anybody else would do. When my bo I knew that my leg could not be saved. And so uh, I decided that it was hanging, my foot was in the boot was hanging, so I just decided to sever it. So. It, it is anybody in my place would have done the same thing. We had a regimental medical officer, Captain Sen Gupta, who looked after me, who treated me, and uh, was immediately first aid was given by him. Then, when the Pakistanis heard that this had happened, they said, "We have a hospital here. We we will do whatever is necessary," and they carried out the amputation. The incident did not deter Cardoso from going on to serve his country, being awarded the Sena Medal among others. He went on to become the first disabled officer in the Indian Army to command an infantry battalion and a brigade. Fondly called Kartu Sahab, Major General Cardozo was as swift and lethal as a cartridge in the 1971 war. Major General Cardozo did not put a foot down and he amputated his own leg once he lost it in one of the blasts during the war because there was non-availability of proper medical treatment that time. He did not let his foot to be an hindrance in the war and this is the spirit this is the whaler this is the courage that drove india's forces ahead towards victory and we all indians are saluting these heroes for the 1971 war author of the book 1971 stories of grit and determination retired army general ian cardoso continues to inspire many soldiers including the disabled bureau report republic tv